Hey guys, how's it going? Happy Saturday. Cheers to you. Decided to use a cup I haven't used in a while. Which reminds me how much I would really love to be in Park City very soon. I think we might be doing, um, hopefully, Park City or and or also um, Lake Tahoe. We'll be doing some fitfluential stuff out there. Stay tuned. Anyway, this is the new vlog focus, people. So from now on, like I said, all vlogs focused under 10 minutes. So we're 37 seconds in. Now, I have a bunch of products here, new products to share, stuff that I'm going to be doing to help me uh, amp it up, get better in Q2, um, even though we're two and a half weeks in, but had some issues those first two weeks. So I'm going to go through some of these products, and then I want to tell you um, a little point that in the middle of my workout this morning, because I was upset about something, I wrote some, I, I wanted to talk to you about a little mantra. So I have a point, we're going to do products, and then the point. Ooh, that's going to be the theme. Some products, and then the point. Because so many of you guys have been asking me about, you know, what am I using, what am I, you know, supplementation, what am I wearing, you know, what, what the cool stuff that's going on in Fit for Lunch, what we're finding out about. So I'll give you like little previews of that. So what are the products, and then the point. So first of all, today in my workout, you guys have been asking, I've gotten a lot of questions of you guys all asking the same thing. Out of the Reebok shoes that I've seen, which ones do I like the best and why? Um, I have to say, are these ones my favorite? Well, yeah, these, these are my first favorite. So the new DMX, which this is what I wore today. Um, this is the DMX Sky, and I just ordered another pair, actually, to be honest. Um, so these I like, and then my second favorite, um, all of my people that are into CrossFit really love the you know CrossFit. Um, they've got several CrossFit models, and then they have the Ole Lifters, which the guys love. Um, not my thing, because um, I don't do CrossFit. Um, and then um, they also love the Real Flex. Real Flex is not my favorite, and here's why. I think that I love how they look, but I don't like, um, I don't feel like they lock my foot in. I don't feel like I have that hard support that I personally um, like. These, I definitely feel have, have more support. They're just, I can't even describe to you how cushiony and soft. I will use these for um, kickboxing for all of my Les Mills stuff and, and the cardio that I do at home. I've used these at the gym. I've run in these. Um, I got it. And again, bear in mind that when I talk about running, I run, I consider myself like a random runner. You know, I'm not training for everything, for anything. I'm not trying to do half marathons. I usually will go half an hour, maybe 40 minutes, 45 minutes. That's my, my run. Um, I just like to run and enjoy it and not have to like be working towards anything specific. But I, I will say, this is a great shoe, like say you're traveling, you could use this for everything. They're very, very comfortable. Um, so these are my favorite. My second favorite with the Reebok is, I gotta watch my time, um, the, not the Real Flex, the Zigs. I love everything in that Zig model. And that's a little bit more about how they look um, I'll be honest with you, because they have the really badass colors and, and whatnot. The cool thing is, speaking of colors, I just thought of this, wasn't planning to talk about this. I have so gotten into all of these great colors for shoes and all of the mixes, and if you'll notice, everybody's coming out with, all the brands are coming out with great, you know, color combinations and, and different colored shoelaces and whatever. I used to, because I was paranoid about my body, I would want to wear my black workout pants and solid black shoes, and so I would always just order plain black shoes. Then, with you know, fifth lunch and everything, I got so excited about all these colors. Um, so I started using and, and wearing, and you know, one of my favorite shoes are those Reebok Zigs. I think they're the Zigs that are like neon orange, and you just can't help but like. I mean, it just I don't know. I love it. Anyway, what I noticed when I was on Reebok.com. Um, they have, go to, go to Reebok.com on the front page, they have something where it's called like Return of the White or they're doing a whole line of shoes that's all solid white. And I have to tell you, I was just watching one of Kathy Friedrich's workouts the other day and I noticed that she always tends to, if I'm correct, she'll have, you know, different clothes in, in her different workouts. She always has solid white shoes and it looks sharp. So of course, I'm, what I'm talking to you about is strictly like from a fashion perspective here. 
But I really do find myself like going, I'd like to have some plain all white shoes where they're all white, not white with a blue stripe, not white with a red stripe, white, like all white. So I thought that was really cool and I don't see anybody else doing that. That used to bother me in the past. I don't know about you guys, like I'm curious what you like. Do you rather, would you rather have your shoes plain? Not that that's bad. Do you want all white or do you want, you know, kind of these crazy funky, which I love. I like both, but I do definitely want to get some all white shoes. So I thought that was pretty cool. I already chugged my bottle of water. Okay, we're at five minutes. I'm halfway through, so I've got to make this really fast. Um, I might do this other thing. I think I'm just going to give you a quick preview. Because as I was at the Verizon store, um, updating my phone, my iPhone for the third time, um, the kind man told me about this. Now, you guys know I've been using this Sony DCR SR85, I think, to shoot my vlogs for several years, five years. Um, and, it, you know, I use a tripod and I've got, what I love is I have this, so I can, you know, click here. So take a look at this bad boy that's the next gen for Fitfluential. Um, this is the new Samsung Galaxy camera. 16 megapixels. I really don't know what any of this means. I'm just sharing it with you. Optical 21x, 23 millimeter wide zoom lens. This thing, I'll do a separate kind of FF Tech video on this. This is so badass because it not only shoots amazing high def photos, it also does video and it's voice activated. So I can put it up there and go, go ahead, shoot some video. Have you seen the commercial? There's a commercial with a guy like doing baseball stuff or whatever. I'll do a separate thing on this, but I am very, very excited about this. Samsung just has amazing products out lately. Of course, y'all know I love Verizon. Um, now, I'm at seven minutes, dag on it. Um, lastly, I think I'll just give you a quick preview really quickly, but I was sent a ton of stuff from the folks at Gaspari, and I'm excited because I have never tried any of this stuff, but I'll give you a quick preview. Now, some of this Michael's going to use, I won't because of, but I asked them for that. I asked them for some, some stuff that was for me and for Michael, and, and so we'll do videos later that will show you who's using what and why. But we've got this, which is the Glycofuse Rapid Recovery Super Carb. I won't be using that. Anything that has super carb in it, Michael's like, how many carbs does it have? Um, this is uh, your, oh, my shoulders are burning. Uh, and then I've got, here's what I'm excited to look at, and I'm going to have to look at how many carbs, because that's the first thing Michael asked me. <laughs> um, look at these flavors. Cookies and cream for their protein powder. Let me look. Five grams of carbs. Whoo, holla. I'm going to be able to use it. Um, this is peanut butter cookie dough protein powder. Again, five grams of carbs. Oh, I am so, and 150 calories. Uh, 150 calories for 25 grams of protein. Uh, this is premium, 25 grams of protein. This is milk chocolate, and this has 120 calories, 2 grams of carbs, 25 protein. I think Michael is going to be all about this. Um, they also sent the new version of Super Pump. I've used Super Pump 250 from way back in the day, okay? Um, and now I think it's called Super Pump, and then they have a new, of course I didn't bring it out, um, a new product that is, hold on one second, because I feel bad that I'm not showing you, um, that I'm referring to it and not. This is supposed, if I'm understanding them correctly, this is supposed to, for your pre-training energy super fuel, this is going to be like the new super pump. Um, so I have not tried this yet, but stay tuned. So thank you to Gaspari. Excited to try all this stuff, and I will let you know. So many of you on Facebook have asked. Let me know what the taste is of this stuff. Um, and then in the mornings, like I'm just, I just finished my breakfast, so you know I'm still doing my Vitapax. This is just part of my day now, and um, it, it takes a while to make that part of your day. And I don't enjoy taking vitamins, but I do. And then I'm still doing the Genetics HD stack, which I, you guys know, in the past. I was not taking this third component because I, in the beginning when I was trying it, I would use it like right before a run and I thought I was making my stomach upset, but I think it had to do with not having anything at all, like on an empty stomach. So I'm going to ask Kelly at GNC about this because I plan to use the full stack. Um, the coffee maker's making some weird noises. Also take probiotics in the morning. So take 
vitamins, probiotics, physio burn right after breakfast. Also, I brought this out. Don't laugh. Take on it. I'm at nine minutes. Um, it's Dr. Mike Russell that told me about this. The only reason I'm bringing this up, if you've ever had problems, this is not about being gassy. If you've ever had problems, do you see the um, vegetables that are on there? If you've ever had problems having broccoli or Brussels sprouts, or I've never had problems with pepper, but I would sometimes when I would, and I love broccoli and cauliflower and, and I love to make roasted vegetables, but then I would find myself half an hour after I'm eating it like bloated like a mother. And Dr. Mike said a lot of people can't process those, so take Vino like right before you have broccoli or cauliflower or any of, you know, some people I guess can't tolerate um, or can't digest the uh, onions as well. So this stuff works like a charm and I like it because I don't have to be scared of broccoli anymore. Incidentally, how weird is it that I could have Brussels sprouts, which I would think would be more because they're like cabbage, that that would make you more bloat? I, I have no idea, probably what my basis is for saying this, but I was like, why can I, why is broccoli and cauliflower giving me such an upset stomach and that isn't? Um, I've gone one minute over my 10 minutes, so I'm gonna zip it and maybe shoot a different vlog. That's what I'll do. I'm gonna shoot a different vlog where I'll actually make my points. So I gave you some products here um, and some answers to your questions about products, like what I'm using and what I'm gonna be trying, and then we'll do the other vlog about um, 